Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. Welcome to Terror by the Pines. I am your host, Jason, and in this video I'll be showcasing my tarot and oracle decks that give me that summery, beachy, hot, and sweaty vibes. So if you're interested in seeing what decks those are, stay tuned. Well folks, summer is here and that means it's getting hot and believe it or not, it gets pretty damn hot by the pines and your boy does not do well in the heat. So in this video, I will be showcasing all of my tarot and oracle decks that give me that summery, beachy vibes and just makes me, you know, hot and sweaty and not the good kind. So, I have quite a few tarot decks and very little oracle decks, so I figured I would go ahead and get started with the oracle decks. And the very first one that I have to show off is the Ice Cream Oracle. This deck is all about ice cream, and when I'm thinking of summer, I am thinking of ice cream. In fact, I actually can eat ice cream throughout the year. Um, this little oracle deck of 40 cards is a very cheeky, uh, tongue-in-cheek. It doesn't take itself too seriously. Of course, each card will have an ice cream on it with uh, the flavor and then like three keywords of what type of intuitive messages uh, the creator has thought of. Um, this is a deck that comes with a digital PDF uh, guidebook and it's this deck is more for those readers who use their intuitive intuition more often and the card stock is that lovely oh I'm not a good card stock snob uh, like GSM MSG whatever um, yeah it's great to shuffle with they are kind of slick but they're not too glossy um, but it's a dream to shuffle, and when you think of summer oracle decks, this is a must-have. And of course, I will put the all of the links of these decks in the description box below. The next one is going to be probably one of my favorites. Um, it is the Animal Ken Oracle. You may have seen this in my previous video where my uh, I showcased my spring oracle and tarot decks. This deck can also be for the summer as well. It has that bright, bold pops of color. Each car is going to be a different color, different animal. And it's just so interesting to read. The guidebook is a pretty thick guidebook. And not only you learn um, about the meanings of the cards, but you also learn about the animal on the card. And that to me makes this a winner all in itself. Not only is this like me being a kid in the candy store with all of this color and all these designs and intricate designs, it is just one of the probably best Oracle decks I have. Um, I have my share of Oracle decks and I feel that most Oracle decks don't have a lot of substance. So when an Oracle deck like this has more uh, meaning than besides the divination meaning of the cards and you learn more about the animal and that is a major plus for me and it's fun to shuffle it's got that uh, uh i was about to say cool um that smooth matte finish that is just ugh, amazing the last deck is going to be the moonology oracle cards and i chose this deck because when i think of summer I think of a hot summer night and you're looking up at the stars, you're looking at the moon, and it's just something about looking up at the stars and the moon during the hot summer. Um, this deck is going to be very much into the moons, into the astrology, um, and they're going to have like these kind of, uh, not muted, but like dark little tones, and um, the guidebook is a little bit thick. Um, but if you are very interested in uh, the moon cycles and astrology, 
I think this one would be a good thing to have. Um, for me, I am a little intimidated by astrology. I think astrology is so complicated, very complex, so much information to learn. And I think with this deck, even though it touches on the moon cycles and astrology, it is a good beginner. And plus the cards are lovely. And it's that uh, matte finish that's wonderful to sh uh, shovel, shuffle. All right, now, here is the tarot, and I have quite a few tarot decks, so shall we begin? The tarot deck that I immediately think of when it is summer, I am thinking of the Golden Girls because of Miami, Florida. It's hot, it's muggy, and it's just too damn hot for me. And the Golden Girls instant classic. If you know me, Golden Girls is my my jush. It is my everything. And with this deck, even though it is very, it's a Golden Girls themed deck, usually themed tarot decks are a hit and miss. But for this one, I think the creator or illustrator had done a wonderful job in creating or recreating this 80s, 90s uh, classic TV show. And even though it is very beachy and very, uh, you know, very 80s and 90s, it will not hold back. I will say it does not come with a guidebook. So this is probably not one that you want to pick up if you are new to tarot. But if you are more advanced or you have the basics, then this one definitely will fit the bill if you are a Golden Girls fan. The next one is also one that I immediately think of summer, but you can also use it for the winter time, I believe. I mean, for some reason, this is giving me winter vibes as well. That is the Mermaid Tarot. This deck is a Llewellyn deck, so it's going to have that Llewellyn card stock that I actually really enjoy. Some may not like it, but with this deck, it is very watery, of course, and it's mermaidy, it merfolk, all of that. And for a mermaid deck, it really does not hold back on some of the tougher cards, like the Three of Swords and the Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords. Um, it is a cute little deck. And some of the cards, and it has like these four seasons throughout the suits. Um, so I really enjoy that. Um, the artwork is fantastic. I think um, any of these cards would be a great um, painting to put on your wall and the guidebook is full color it's that Llewellyn guidebook so it's going to be a great production and it comes in that strong box um, so definitely the mermaid tarot is a great summer tarot deck that you can probably use even going into the fall and into the winter the next tarot deck um, this also could be used, well, it could be used in the fall, um, but with everything floral and green on it, I have to use it for this summer video. It is the Antique Anatomy Tarot. This is going to be a pip deck, which pips is um, cards that aren't fully illustrated. They will only show like three of cups with literally three of cups. Um, this also will feature a lot of bones and skeletons and floral arrangements. And I really dig this artwork. And the guidebook goes into of all the color schemes and what they mean. Um, and it's just a really interesting deck to work with because I myself really do not like pips, but there is something that really has gravitated me towards this deck that I had to pick it up. And it is a uh, fantastic deck. I believe this is uh, an improved mass market deck. Um, the cardstock, from what I heard, has improved. So that is fantastic. Um, but as you can see, it has a lot of floral arrangements and bright colors, as I pick one that doesn't have bright color. Um, so you can also use this in the fall as well. The next tarot deck is going to be one that I used to have in my collection when I first started tarot, but then um, I couldn't get into this tarot deck because it wasn't beginner friendly, but I had to have it again because it has been calling to me and that is the Animal 
Totem Tarot. And this is also a Llewellyn deck. Um, it's going to have that Llewellyn cardstock, that, uh, that wonderful guidebook. And it is just a really interesting deck to work with because not only are you learning a little bit more about the animal and what the card meanings are, but it also goes into different aspects of a reading. It goes into health and wealth, uh, health and wellness, um, business and career and relationships. So in that guidebook, it really breaks it down. And I really felt that was a nice touch. Not all guidebooks will do that. You have to use your intuition for that. But as you can see, it is not a beginner friendly deck per se. Um, but it does follow the traditional RWS system somewhat. Um, but definitely a summer deck for me because of all of the bright colors, the greenery, the animals. And for an animal tarot deck, I think this is probably one of the best that I have in my collection. I have another one as well, which you can probably find out what that one is if you go to my spring oracle and tarot deck video. All right, so the final deck, and this is probably, this is one of my newest acquisitions, and it is a deck that I didn't think I would enjoy, but I had to have it, and I'm surprised it has worked well in my favor. That is the Five Cent Tarot. This is a indie deck, um, and you it comes in five different colors, or six, and I chose the all green, because green is my absolutely favorite. It's the best color in the world. This is going to be a pippish kind of deck. Um, it's not gonna have that traditional RWS illustrations. This is going to be all animal and nature based. It will have keywords around the image. And I think that is one of the things that really drew me to this deck because I'm not into reversals. And if you reverse the card, it has the reversal meanings there. So it's easy to um, use your intuition and get to learn reversals better. And that to me works really well. In fact, the keywords really do not distract me. In fact, I think it enhances the cards. It has that linen card stock, easy to shuffle. And so far the edges are holding up pretty well. And of course, this is not all of the deck. And it also comes with um, a couple extra different cards. And it's just overall a very fascinating, interesting deck to work with. So if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my showcase of my summer tarot and oracle decks. If you have any of these decks in your collection, let me know your experiences with them in the comments below. If you do not have these, Hopefully I have enabled you to get it for your next uh, online shopping purchase. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great summer. Be well, be safe, be kind. And until next time, I will see you for Tarot by the Pines.